So you want to learn how to make your own Discord bots? Well, you're in the right place, but you should already know the basics of JavaScript and have Node.js and VS Code installed. So to get started, open up VS Code, go to Terminal, and then click on New Terminal. And now we can create our own project by saying npm init-y. This will create our package.json file. We can now go right above our package.json file to this icon right here that says new file. And we want to make two new files. The first one is going to be index.js. The second one is going to be .env. We'll come back to these in a few minutes. Let's now head over to discord.com forward slash developers. A link can be found in the description. Here you want to make sure you're on applications. And then near the top right, we have a new application button. Go ahead and click on that and give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call this YouTube tutorial, and then I can click on create. Now over on the left, you want to click on the bot tab. And then on the right, you want to click on add bot and then click on yes. Now you want to click on reset token, click on yes. And you might have to enter in your two-factor authentication code if you do have that enabled. So I just entered mine and now we see this giant token right here. You can treat this as your bot's password. You never want to share this and I'm going to reset this as soon as the video is over. But for now, I can click on copy and then we want to go back into VS Code and within the .env file, we want to add in token equals and then pasting your token right here. Go ahead and save the file and close it. We won't need that anymore. Now let's go back over to the Discord developer dashboard and scrolling down to Privilege Gateway Intents. We want to make sure that all three of these are enabled. Whenever you're following this series, it'll be easier if you enable this now rather than later. We can click on Save Changes. Now to invite the bot to your server, you can click on OAuth2 and then click on URL Generator. From here, you want to select bot near the middle of all these checkboxes, as well as applications.commands near the top right. Here you can select all the different permissions you want, but for simplicity, I'm just going to use administrator. And then you can copy this link right here and invite it to the server of your choice. So heading over into the Discord server, we see my bot is now invited. It says YouTube tutorial. We can now head back over to VS Code and within the console, we want to install the Discord JS package. So I can say npm install discord.js. And we also want to install the .env package. Now that those two are done installing, we want to import a couple things. So I could say const empty object equals require. Here I can pass in discord.js. And then within this empty object, we're going to destructure a couple things from discord.js. The first of which is going to be a client with a capital C. We now want access to the gateway intent bits, but I can use control space to autocomplete this. So I don't have to type out the whole thing. Now afterwards, we want to import something from the .env package, and this will make it so we can use the .env file right here and gain access to our bots token. So to do this, I could say require .env forward slash config. And now we'll have access to our .env contents. If you need help, then feel free to ask in our Discord server. A link is in the description and the pinned comment. And now we want to create a client object, which will basically just represent our entire bot. So I could say const client with a lowercase c equals a new client, this time with an uppercase c, because this is referencing our import. I can then pass in an object. And within this, we can add in an intense array. There are three different intents we want at the start. And as your bot grows, you'll want to add in more intents. But for now, we can add in the gateway intent bits dot guilds with a capital G. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it two more times. The second one will change from guilds to guild messages. Now the last one is going to be called message content. And with these three, we will be able to gain access to the actual text from any messages. Now afterwards, we want to make sure that we can know whenever our bot is ready. So I can say clients.on, I can pass in the string ready. And now this function here will be called whenever the bot is actually ready. So let's add in a simple console log that will basically just say, the bot is ready. Now we want to listen for whenever a new message is created. And if the message is the text ping, then I want to respond with Pong. So for example, here I can say client.on message creates, and then we can have a callback, which will give us access to the message that was sent. Now what I want to do is say if message dot content, this will be the actual string that the user sent. If this is exactly equal to the string ping, I now want to say message dot reply with the string Pong. Now the last step is to actually have the bot log in. To do that, I can say client dot login. I can now pass in process dot env dot token. And this token here is an all uppercase because it must exactly match whatever we added in our dot env file. So if you made this text here or something else, then go ahead and use that text. My name is token, so I'm going to use a token right here. I can now save this. Now to run our bot, we can use something called nodemon. And if you don't have nodemon installed, you can install it with npm install dash g nodemon. This will install it globally on your computer so you can use it in any project. And afterwards, you can just simply say nodemon and it's automatically going to run your bot. Here we see the bot is ready. 
And if I were to make a change, or let's say just save a file, it would automatically retard the bot. So this way, your console is automatically retarding your bot whenever you're writing code, which is much more convenient. Now let's head over to Discord, and I can enter in anything I want, for example, test, nothing happens, but as soon as I say the word ping, it's now going to reply with Pong. So our Discord bot is now working. And if you want to learn more about Discord JS and how to make more advanced Discord bots, then click on the video you see right now.